Hey y'all, it's Sierra, aka Capricorn Moon Goddess. Just wanted to share this funny story with you all about one of my past lives. So I like to get Akashic Records readings, which are basically um, a reader that can tap into your Akashic Records, which are the records of everything that happened in all of your lives. Okay, so I believe we have several lifetimes and reincarnate and all of that. And I got into the Akashic Records readings because I had discovered that I was in a few karmic relationships and karmics don't have to just be romantic. They can be any type of relationship. But of course, the one that got me on my spiritual journey was a romantic karmic relationship. So I needed to get a past life reading to kind of delve deeper into that. Um, but one of my readings was on one of my friends. Well, it's not my friend now. We're currently not friends now, but we were friends at the time. And um, we got into a really bad argument and um, it was at nighttime and when I was on the phone with her, I started getting this huge pain in my chest. You know how it feels when you're on a um, roller coaster and you're about to drop or if you're on that ride where it goes like straight up and then it drops straight down, that feeling in your stomach, um, it is the worst feeling ever. But I felt that in my chest, not in my stomach, but in my chest. And it was like happening for hours even after we got I had to end the call with her I was like I have to get off the phone and I felt that way for hours I've never felt anything like that before it was like I was having a heart attack or something so when I went to get my Akashic Records reading which I usually do it like once or twice a year I asked my reader about it and she went into the past life that I had with that friend. I had several past lives with this friend, but this particular past life was the reason why I felt that chest pain when we were arguing. And she told me that we were friends in a past life and um, we were younger. We weren't like adults at this time and we were playing like near the edge of a cliff but I guess the cliff, there was like um, a flat section of land or flat plains or something under it. So it wasn't like a cliff that if you fall off, you land into the water or you land like really hard on, you know, the ground that's really, really far below. There was something under it that can catch you if you fall. Um, but she was like, yeah, y'all were playing around and she just pushed you off the cliff. She just thought it was funny. She pushed you off the cliff. And that's feeling of you falling off of the cliff. That's what you felt when y'all were arguing. <laughs> I was like, what? She pushed me off the cliff? What? And she was like, yeah, but you landed like, you know, on something that was under it. So it wasn't like uh, you died or you were seriously hurt, but it was just like, uh, surprising and scary because it was just out of nowhere. She just pushed you off the cliff. I was like, that is just hilarious to me. Like, wow. It's so funny how um, certain anxieties that we may have can be linked to a past life. So if you are somebody that's afraid of heights, it could be linked to a past life. I am afraid of spiders. I hate spiders. Okay. Okay. Um, I just have this thing about spiders and I actually learned why I have that fear and it is linked to a different past life that I have, which maybe I'll go over that in a different video. So I think it is fun and important to do past life readings, get past life readings done or Akashic Records readings or do past life regression. I really want to do past life regression. If you all have, um ever gotten a past life regression done which is like when they hypnotize you and like you actually can see and feel like you're in that past life let me know how did it go did you like it I really want to do that um but I just wanted to tell y'all this funny story because there are certain things that we may experience in this lifetime when it comes to fears phobia anxiety 
um, the way that we feel about certain things, whether or not we like a person, we can meet somebody and just hate them and we don't understand why. And it could be related to a past life situation. And when it comes to karmic relationships, those are people that you dealt with in the past. You had a friendship or relationship with them or um, they were a mentor or something like that. And um, usually there was some lesson connected to that relationship that you were supposed to learn from that relationship, but you did not learn it. It's usually a toxic situation for the most part. So you end up running into that person over and over again in different lifetimes until you all basically, your soul elevates and you learn the lesson. So um, if you are constantly dealing with people that are abusive, if you're in abusive relationships and you find out one of your uh, relationships is with a karmic partner so they were in your past life and they were also abusive to you in the past life there could be a lesson connected to that um, it could have to do with valuing yourself more okay maybe you need to learn how to value yourself more so tapping into past lives karmic situations that can help your soul to elevate um, and that can keep you from having to repeat the same cycles over and over again within the same lifetime and within your next lifetime. So uh, one way to know if you're dealing with karmic people is if it seems like you're meeting the same person in a different body over and over again. You have new friends, but they all seem to act like your old friends. They, they all have the same toxic trait. Or you always tend to date men that will ghost you or women that will ghost you. Like there's basically, you're trying to move on with your life, but you still keep attracting the same type of person. That is a um, good way to know that maybe you have dealt with a karmic person in your past. And because you're not healing from that, you just keep attracting more and more and more of those type of people. So anyway, I don't know. I just felt like telling y'all this because I, I was just thinking about it and I just thought it was so funny that old girl really pushed me off a cliff. Like, why would... Sorry, my phone cut off. But yeah, I thought it was funny that she pushed me off a cliff and we ended up getting into it and we're not friends anymore in this lifetime. So it's just like, I don't know, maybe in one lifetime we'll finally get it together and be able to remain friends <laughs> or I don't know. So anyway... Um, hope y'all have a great rest of your day. If you have any past life stories, please feel free to share it with us in the comment section. I have so many juicy stories that I can tell about my past lives, but I will leave this here. So thank you for taking the time to watch. Please like, share, and subscribe and have a great rest of your day. Bye.